It is Hockey Heroes Night at the AESC, presented by Cascades Casino, and our honored guest today is Lanny McDonald. Lanny, we've got some questions from fans that they've submitted on Facebook and Twitter. Would you be open to answering some? I got it covered. All yeah. right. Let's give it. All right. So uh, question number one comes from uh, Gary on Facebook, and Gary asks, what's your best memory from playing the New West Bruins at Queen's Park Arena. Do you remember that? Well, first of all, you're taking your life in your hands. Every time you went in there, uh, they had the biggest, toughest lineup you could possibly imagine. And the fact that you just got out of there alive was so good. Uh, Punch McLean was uh, was the coach uh, back then. They had guys like Filipov, uh, Barry Beck, uh, St- I think Stump played there. Uh, it was a it was a big tough lineup, and thank God the Medicine Hat Tigers ha- had the gas off boys and and big uh, Jim McCrimmon. So uh, we felt pretty comfortable going in there, but boy, uh, that was hard nosed hockey back then. All right, so hard nosed hockey from New West. Uh, question number two is asked by Mario on Twitter. Said if there were shootouts in your day, which Flames players would have taken the shootout attempts? Well. I- Trust me, I was taking it, whether the coach liked it or not. Uh, I, I loved uh, I, I loved uh, shootouts, especially in, at the end of practice every day. I ended up taking four uh, penalty shots throughout my career, uh, scored on two. Uh, so 50%, I'll take that. That's a good ratio these days, by the way. The, the goalies typically, it's about two for three, the goalies went. Well, and... and uh, it, the game is so different today, and, and goaltenders, as you know, they study the films inside out, making sure that they know each and every shootout, and that's why sometimes coaches will put a rookie in or, or somebody that hasn't taken a whole lot of uh, shootouts just to try and throw that guy off. Interesting. Okay, question three, and asked by Anthony on Twitter. When was the last time you didn't sport the world famous mustache you get this question a lot i'm guessing i, I do 1974 i started to grow it at, at the end of the first season there's only one rookie card that doesn't have the mustache Ooh. and i have never shaved it off since uh, i'd have to go into hiding for two years and grow it back <laughs> who's this guy you know, yeah, no, you, no kidding your wife wouldn't know who you were <laughs> my my wife my kids my grandkids uh, no one <laughs> All right, question number four from Tony on Facebook. Tony says, who were your favorite players that you looked up to when you were younger, and who was the biggest influence on becoming the player you were? I had a coach in junior, uh, a guy by the name of John Chapman, who has been a a, a scout for the uh, Philadelphia uh, team for probably the last 20, 25 years. And he taught me what it would take to be a, a very good pro. Uh, looking uh, up to players like Jean Belvol, uh, like Dave Keon, like Gordy Howe, and that's why I wore number nine after I got traded to uh, Colorado and back to Calgary. Uh, those are the kind of guys uh, that I absolutely uh, looked up to and thought, oh my gosh, if I could ever play in the league and, and hopefully uh, score a couple goals uh, like those guys, I'd feel pretty good. Just couldn't catch Gordy. <laughs> Good number, but you're not going to catch his games played, right? No, certainly not. Okay, Lanny, we got some more for you here. We've right. got the extra ones here for the website, go heat, folks. Go. Yes, I know. Big game here. Uh, question one uh, from Dan Salos on Twitter. Do you have any of your old Lethbridge Sugar Kings gear? As a matter of fact, I do. Uh, I was actually just back there uh, earlier this year for a little celebration after Christmas. Uh, they had an alumni night, uh, and... Uh, spoke at at their uh, big fundraiser and went to the game unfortunately they lost the game but how much fun was that just to go back i've got some old sticks uh, uh from way back in in that day they're actually sticks they're not like composite right well <laughs> i glued them back together <laughs> <laughs> okay a next question from matthew Britton on twitter as a hall of famer have you ever considered coaching or been asked by the flames to coach uh, no, you know what? Uh, uh, coaching is a 24-7 uh, job, and these guys deserve all the credit in the world. Um, uh, it, your life is not your own, and, and having played for 16 years, I just chose to, uh, I hate to say, walk away from that side of it, uh, enjoy the game. Uh, I'm one of the biggest fans uh, hockey could possibly have, and, and try and get that message across to young people in a different way. If it weren't for Harvey the Hound, you'd be the official mascot of the Flames, right? 
Well, I got to tell you that Harvey, uh, he does, it's an it's absolutely amazing how a hound like that can never say a word and say a thousand words all at the same time. Well, you'll meet Hockey tonight, and Hockey is our hawk that supports the Heat, and two of the best in the business. I actually met him earlier oh, this really? morning. Okay. Uh, great mascot, and can't wait for uh, for him to do his stuff tonight. Huge pressure, so he better be on. Well, Lanny's watching. All right, he's reporting to Harvey, too. Absolutely. Uh, fine, that's it for questions, but we did pass Craig McTavish in the hall. He's the coach of the Chicago Wolves. And I said, do you have a good Lanny story? Because he, he, <laughs> you gave him a pat on the stomach as you walked by. And he said, when Lanny was mad, we stayed away from Lanny. He could shoot the puck ultra hard, and he was one strong guy. So uh, agree, disagree, and then you could swap your best McTavish story. Well, I got to tell you, I have all the respect in the world. I think Craig was the last guy to play in the National Hockey League without a helmet. That's correct. Uh, for all those years, and and he played hard all the time, uh, regardless of whether he played in Edmonton or or other places. Uh, he just came to play all the time. Uh, 110 percent if there is such a thing and one of the reasons why uh, that oiler team was as successful all those years as they were lanny just a pleasure having you around today i hope you enjoy your time in abbotsford and uh, go heat go you got it go heat go